Hello everyone, I am Sir Zipsip Corpus of Campino National High School, your teacher presenter for Teletaroan. Color. What is color? Color is the perceptual quality of light. The human eye can distinguish almost 10 million colors. Try to compare these two types of materials, transparent and translucent. Color comes to our eyes from objects due to the following. Number one, emission. Number two, reflection. Number three, transmission. Number four, interference. Number five, dispersion. And last, scattering. Emission is when the object itself is a source of light. Reflection. Certain frequencies are reflected from the object while others are absorbed. A particular material absorbs the light frequency that matches the frequency at which electrons in the atoms of that material vibrate. The energy of the frequency absorbed turns to heat. Transmission, on the other hand, happens when certain frequencies are transmitted to the object while others are absorbed. Scattering is the re-radiation of certain frequencies of light striking small suspended particles. Interference may be described as constructive and destructive interference. Dispersion is the angular separation of a light wave during refraction. Why do we see the colors of the rainbow? Why is the sky blue? Why is the ocean sometimes blue, gray, or green? Primary colors of light include red, green, and blue and they combine to form white. Secondary colors of light includes cyan, magenta, and yellow. They also combine to form white. A complementary color is formed by subtracting a primary color from white light. Every secondary color is the complement of a primary color. If a blue and yellow flashlight strike a white object at the same time, what color will the object appear? If red is subtracted from white, what color remains? Color of light is an additive process with respect to frequency. But then why? Because the primary colors, when added together, give white light. Additive color of light mixing applications include movie film, slide projector, and television and computer displays. Primary colors of pigments include cyan, yellow, magenta, and when they combine, they give black color pigment. The primary colors of pigment are the secondary colors of light and vice versa. When magenta and cyan pigments are mixed, what color results? Pigment is a subtractive color process. Why? Because colors are formed by absorbing or taking away certain frequencies from white light. The absence of a reflected light wave appears as black color. Applications are painting and printing. I am now going to give you something to ponder about the colors of light. When you look at the sky at night, is it black? With the stars and the moon forming points of light on that black background. So why is it that? During the day, the sky does not remain black with the sun acting as another point of light. Why does this daytime sky turn a bright blue and the sky stars disappear? One reason is light scattering. Sun is an extremely bright source of light. We have an atmosphere, small atoms of oxygen and nitrogen in the atmosphere affect sunlight. Another reason is Rayleigh scattering physical phenomenon that causes light to scatter when it passes through particles. Tiny particles bend high-frequency light, like oxygen and nitrogen, which are reflected in blue mountain skies. Large particles bend low-frequency light, like methane and sulfur. Why do you have blue sky? Why not violet? This scattering of the higher frequencies of light illuminates the skies with light on the BIB end of the visible spectrum. Violet is scattered most easily, so why isn't the sky violet? Our eyes are more sensitive to light with blue frequencies. Three primary color cones in a 
our eye. Blue, green, and red. Why is the sun yellow? The lower frequencies of sunlight, red, orange, and yellow, tend to reach our eyes and scatter it as we look directly at the midday sun. Although sunlight is a combination of all colors, yellow is most intense. Appearance of the sun changes with the time of the day. As the path which the light takes through the atmosphere increases, Roy Zibib encounters more atmospheric particles and scatters more light. During sunset hours, the light passing through our atmosphere to our eyes tend to be concentrated with red and orange frequencies. This is why sunsets have a reddish-orange hue. What affects a sunset? The effect of a red sunset becomes more pronounced if the atmosphere contains more and more sulfur aerosols or industrial pollutants. Some mountain ranges are famous for their blue hazes which result from aerosols from the vegetation reacting with ozone to form small particles which scatter blue light. What is Tyndall effect? John Tyndall in 1859 discovered that when light passes through clear fluid holding small particles in suspension, the shorter blue wavelengths are scattered more strongly than red. Have you heard of critical opalescence? They say that people with blue eyes really don't have blue eyes. The fluid in your eyes scatters or reflects the blue light from our eyes. Why is Mars sky red? Images from Viking Mars landers in 1977 and Pathfinder in 1997 show a red sky from the Martian surface. This is due to a red iron, rich dust, magnetite, thrown up in dust storms which absorbs blue wavelengths and reflects red. Why are clouds white? Clouds appear white because they consist of water droplets that are many in sizes and scatter all wavelengths equally. Why is sea water greenish blue? Water absorbs infrared waves or heats water, absorption of red light by water, what is left is the complement of red, which is cyan or greenish blue. Why are sea creatures red? In deep sea water, since there is no red light coming in to be reflected, the lobster and other sea creatures look black. And true evolution have avoided being eaten by their predators. In summary, the sky is blue because blue from sunlight is scattered in all directions by molecules in the atmosphere. Sunsets are red because all the other color frequencies are filtered out. Water looks greenish blue because water absorbs red light. The color of things depend on what colors are reflected or absorbed by molecules. Thank you for your active participation. I hope that you have learned a lot. Let us been Sir Gypsy Corpus of Camp Pino National High School. See you again next time. Goodbye.